Hey guys, so I wanted to give you some insight into my real estate practice, Noah's Ark Investments, where I help people and consult and advise them on introducing green practices, sustainable technologies, and doing green features in either an existing home or if they're looking to buy a new home. So Noah's Ark, what our original intention was with the company I started three years ago with my husband was that we wanted to buy distressed properties and flip them by introducing some of these technologies so that we could have more sustainable homes out on the market. Um, there are people out there who do want to be environmentally friendly, who are um, interested in having energy efficient homes and having these kinds of upgrades in their houses. So. It's really important to us now that instead of flipping houses like we had originally intended for, that we focus more on new builds and helping people with their existing homes to introduce these technologies. Um, we do want to create a whole community of sustainable homes called Shtapacha Veda, which is an ancient Vedic tradition dating back 5,000 years. So I'll get more into that and what that is. But what our mission is with Noah's Ark is to lead as an organization um, accommodating harmony through providing home buyers with a home that will nourish their minds and well-being. Our homes are carefully designed using green products and are maintained through sustainable practices. Their physical alignment is in correspondence with universal alignment and the planets as well as the cosmos. So again, I'll give you more details about that shortly. But the planets do have an effect on our well-being, and so can the homes we build. If you're familiar with retrogrades and how the planets affect us individually for those specific time periods, then it's very similar to how the homes will behave. And since you're living in the house and spending a lot of time in the house, it can be really effective on your mind, um, your spiritual involvement, and all types of other great things for your body, for the physical body. So let me give you a little bit more insight into what Vastu is. That's another name for the principles that are integrated into the Stapacha Veda homes. It is the ancient science which is key to creating buildings for improved health, clearer thinking, and enhanced quality of life, as in a wellness home. So Maharishi Vastu design specifically is a Vedic system of architecture and planning that integrates the most life-supporting natural laws into the design of a home. Some of the principles that they employ in the Vastu is right direction. So what that means is that the orientation of a building has a dramatic and easily measured impact upon the quality of life of its occupants. Um, the homes that face east and north are most auspicious and the homes facing south or west are least auspicious. But the sun's energy is most nourishing when it is rising, when it rises in the east. So essentially, since it's rising in the east and your home faces east, your home is going to receive all the benefits that the sun provides and its vitality that it sustains us throughout the day. So you wake up in the right mood and happy and your well-being throughout the day continues to translate from there. Another principle of Vastu is right placement of rooms. So even the way that the rooms are placed in the house, it's very similar to the feng shui principle in ancient Chinese traditions. Um, but the sun, again, has differing qualities of energy as it moves across the sky. So the buildings are designed to um, be affected by those different activities throughout the day that we perform within the various rooms of the house. You have a meditation room in a specific spot of the house your bedroom, your kitchen. Um, there's all types of features within the home too that help for that as far as having windows on each cardinal direction of the house so that it creates a cross section of sun on the inside of the home um, and it creates a very clearing energetic field around your home. Another principle is right proportion and that's key to successful design in nature. So even the um, the beams that you build the house with have to be of a certain measurement and it's very particular throughout the entire home. These measurements in building strengthen the connection of our individual intelligence to cosmic intelligence. So it brings you more in alignment with natural law. Another principle is natural and non-toxic materials 
and solar energy. So this is where a lot of my background comes into play. Um, I am a certified resource efficient home consultant, so I can talk and advise about these different technologies that are out there um, as far as photovoltaic technologies for creating energy in the home through solar panels or anything to do with HVAC, um, there's geothermal systems, HRV systems, and I have another video talking specifically about those particular systems, which you can do in your house now without being a Shapacha Veda home. So an important component of Vedic architecture is building sustainably with natural non-toxic materials that are suitable to the local climatic conditions. So there's materials such as wood, brick, rammed earth, and adobe for the outside of the home, um, also hempcrete, which is natural, and then inside the home you can do bamboo floors, clay, stucco, marble, those are all non-toxic materials. Um, renewable wood is a really big one too for cabinets, and you can do low and zero VOC, which is volatile organic compounds, for um, your paints and sealants. So some more benefits for the non-toxic things you can do is non-toxic glues as well for anything within the house. Um, there are three more principles that I want to include, and this is all falls under the next principle called special elements, sorry, of a Maharishi Vastu building. So one of those is the Brahmastan. And what the Brahmastan is, is it's like the core of intelligence. So in natural law, in things that are created naturally, such as galaxies, stars, um, atoms, cells, there's always a core center. And so that is what the Brahmastan is in the home. It sits in the center of the house and typically it looks like a skylight. So it allows the sun to enter into the house and fill the home with natural light. Um, in the Vastu building, it's a holistic structure of natural law and very necessary. Another one of those features is a Vastu fence. And the purpose of the Vastu fence is so that the good energy that's being created within your home, like that vortex, can actually be extended out through your yard. So it continues to extend from the home itself beyond your front door um, and it reaches the fence line of surrounding your house. So that's actually a requirement of Vastu. Another is the Kalash. And literally in Sanskrit, kalash means a vessel. So in the Vastu home, it sits on the top of the house um, and it enlivens the connection of the house with the cosmos. So a good way to think about it is that it's like having an antenna on top of your house that's receiving all of that information from the cosmos. Now, all of this information that I'm giving you right now is from maharishivastu.org. Um, I'm telling you about Maharshi Vastu because that's actually the guru that I follow and I do transcendental meditation, but Vastu is an ancient tradition from the Vedas. So it's not specific to Maharshi, but there's certain principles that he had like to introduce um, that are different in particular to his Vastu style. So I'm just going to read off of this list and give you guys some more insight into some of the benefits of living in a Vastu home for the individual. So don't mind me if I'm looking at my computer, but... Um, good health, wealth, and happiness for everyone, increased prosperity and abundance, stable peace of mind and well-being. There's also a reported increased creativity and success for the inhabitants of the home, harmonious relations and great comfort, coherent thinking and decision-making, fulfillment of all desires, victory over adversaries, longevity, fulfillment, all types of really great things for the individual. In addition to the qualities that people get to feel by living and working in a Maharshi Vastu, they also have reported that they can think more clearly and creatively, that they've made better decisions since living in a Vastu, that they feel happier and healthier, uh, more alert and refreshed throughout the day, more restful and refreshing sleep, and they enjoy more energy and less fatigue. So in the latter side of that, people who are living in standard homes, like myself, I'm not in a Vastu yet, but we do want to eventually build our own Vastu. Um, so these are some of the principles that are affecting us as individuals and our physical traits just by living in a regular house that's not in alignment with natural law, that's not built from sustainable materials. Um, some of those negative side effects are Accidents randomly and sudden death, destruction of the family or misfortune, anxiety, constant fear, um, 
weakness, ill health, chronic disease, lack of creativity and dullness or constant fatigue, lack of money, financial loss, or no success or a feeling of success. And a lot of people have reported no peace of mind when this study was done. Um, Maharshi Vastu architecture, houses and office that are not built in accord with natural law can have blocks to creativity, bad luck, disharmony in relationships or antisocial behavior. So this is why we want to create these homes for people because we find that it's really important that as many people as possible can have the benefits of living in a Vastu home. So for Noah's Ark Investments, it's our goal to not only have a positive effect on ourselves and our families, but also to inspire, motivate, and create lasting change in everyone we encounter. We believe that your home is where you spend the most of your time and a majority of your time. So feeling comfortable and safe in your home is of utmost importance. All of the homes that we release to the market will be transformed and enhanced with those goals in mind. We treat our clients and team members with the utmost respect and our motto is and always will be reconstructing ourselves and the world around us. Our company will dedicate its resources to giving back to communities that we will work in as well as donating to global organizations with an effort to enrich more lives.